Hi guys, good morning. I'm standing beside my papaya. Um, kung naigo lang ni sa init siguro, this could have been a dwarf uh, papaya. But uh, since it grew beside uh, mahogany trees, that's this is mahogany. And this is another mahogany over here. That one. After trimming the mahogany, the papaya began to shoot up and then started to bear fruit. And these are huge, big papaya. And it's very productive. We have abundance of papaya so from from here we already harvested uh, two i think but small ones just took out those uh, small ones so that others can grow big bigger so like this one i think this is the the first you know biggest papaya but uh, now it has already bigger one here up here I do have uh, another papaya uh, by the way this one I intentionally planted this uh, late last year 2020 I think uh, that was November so it's already one year old and uh, I'm just happy that uh, she's very productive no ripe yet no sign of yellow stripes but we will see in the coming months I do have uh, some papaya over here this one I did not uh, intentionally plant. I have uh, seedlings uh, placed somewhere here in the ground uh, using uh, plastic cups. And then the ones that were left grew here. I think three. And then uh, two died. And this is the only one that survived. So Moni Ehangunga, this is the first one, it's quite big and still producing more. So this is already about uh, six feet tall papaya. And uh, just this year, I planted one here, actually these are sprouts no somewhere because we we put compost on the ground and now since our compost are coming from the kitchen scrap so we expect that uh, you know vegetables and fruits will will grow and sprout on the ground so this is the effect so this is the dwarf papaya this is about uh, I think four feet tall and then from the ground to where the fruits are is about uh, 2.5 feet so it has already one two three four yeah five five small fruits tiny fruits and we're hoping that they will uh, she will grow bigger and uh, bear more fruits I planted her beside this uh, fallen tree so we cut this tree two years ago to give way for two others you know two other plants and to so that they will get sunlight also and uh, I was thinking that it might be good 
that they still be here because of the rotten uh, trunk starting to decompose already we'll see okay so she is planted beside this huge uh, malungay or moringa tree actually this is uh, malungay lane from here so from here up to there so this side is malungay malungay lane and we have uh, malungay lane also at that side so actually this uh, papayas were planted were grown in this uh, area that we call food forest food forest because uh, it has plenty of food in this small area this is about uh, almost 200 square meters and uh, we call it forest because of the you know, different height of uh, trees and uh, plants here so this is what we do here every day keeping this uh, area uh, productive we have kalamunding or kalamansi we have about uh, four four of them here and plenty of alugbate and kangkong uh, on the ground some uh, with some <coughs> eggplants and uh, okra we do have uh, kamote tops, sweet potato, and uh, gabi, taro. And we still have uh, this old, uh, how do you call this, uh, lufa or sikwa, patola in Tagalog. And we didn't uh, clear this area from from this vine because uh, the vines are still uh, productive we do we also have uh, sili pepper cayenne from uh, malaysia that's rawit i'm really amazed with this one Amazing papaya. So thank you for watching guys. Stay uh, healthy and uh, keep safe everyone.